Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unsync your iPad from your iPhone so that anything you're doing on your iPhone doesn't get on your iPad. Things like your photos, videos, messages, contacts, anything that you're doing on your iPad will no longer sync to your iPad by turning these settings off. So let's get started. So first thing you want to do is grab your iPad and we're going to go into our setting over our iPad. So when this happens, usually you're signed into one Apple account. That's why you're getting whatever's on your iPhone on your iPad. One thing you could do is that you could create a new Apple account just for your iPad. That way, nothing will be linked between the devices. But you may not want to do that because that's you know managing two Apple accounts. If you want to just keep your same Apple account and unsync it, first thing we need to do is on our iPad, go over to our setting, go to our Apple account ID here, and then click on iCloud here. And under iCloud here, it says apps using iCloud. So if I click on show all, it shows us all the content that are being synced between my iPhone and iPad. Now in order to start turning up certain things, for example, if you don't want photos and videos from your iPhone coming into your iPad, we need to turn off that. So, and then click on either download photos or videos or remove from our iPad, it will show you how many photos will be removed. So those are phones that are on your iCloud account, most likely only from your iPhone, right, will get removed from this device and it will not sync it to it. So we want to just ensure that is turned on and then also shared album as well. So those are turned off. So it'll be off. The next thing you might want to do is if you want, don't want messages from your iPhone on your iPad, just click off that sync and then disable and download messages. So we'll click on that to turn that off. Again, take a moment and it will turn off messages coming from your iPhone to your iPad as well. Now other things like if you want to turn off contacts, you can also do that. You can turn off things like calendar, just simply click on the toggle, maybe Safari browsing history, you can delete it from your iPad That's so it doesn't sync between your devices. And even for our certain apps, we'll list it here. If you don't want to share the data between the iPhone and iPad, you just go down the list here and turn those settings off. Now other things you might want to turn off or unsync is going to be maybe on apps that you download on your iPhone, you don't want it on your iPad, right? If you need to turn this setting off with the app downloads, where automatically you will download any free or paid purchased on your other device. Basically, if you download an app on your iPhone, if you have the setting on, it will also download it here. So we need to turn that off so that doesn't happen for us. So something to other to consider. Now, another thing you might want to consider along with your uh, app store here downloads is maybe calls. So if you don't want calls coming from your that are coming on your iPhone also displaying on your iPad at the same time when it's close by, it'll start ringing on both devices. If you don't want that, we need to turn a setting off on our iPhone by going to our settings and then going into here from the settings, phone, from the phone setting here which says call for on other devices when nearby. By default, it's turned on so that it makes it easy to receive your calls on either devices, but you might not want that in order to unsync that or stop that from happening you just click on find your device like here my iPad I turn it off and now I will not get calls that have come through my iPhone to my iPad so that's pretty much will sync most of unsync most of the stuff that we're syncing before you can go through the list and if you find something else that you want to unsync it's usually generally by through the iCloud account so you'll just have to go ahead and click on iCloud find whatever apps using that syncing or happening just turn that toggle off and that's how you do it I hope this video was helpful if so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad iPhone and other iOS devices see you guys next time